So that brings me to the question. I I don't know if I can ask this or not, but don't you think education system is overrated? I'll I'll take an example. So let me take some of the examples. Richard Branson mm-hmm. dropped out of school. Now he runs a twenty five billion dollar company. Bill Gates dropped out of school. Now he runs a hundred dollar billion. No, let us use a weighing balance here. You put all the people who are very very successful in life, who did not get uh, who. Did not do any great degrees from any universities on the right side of the path. On the left side, put all the people who became successful in life who has got good degrees. Your left side path will be greater than the right side path. But then there is much more to education beyond academics. Let us not take examples of Sachin Tendulkar or Bill Gates or Dhirubhai Ambani's who are not highly educated but became very successful in life. Let me also remind you the fact that even though Dhirubhai Ambani was not so educated he made two of his sons get into one of the best universities in the country even just to tell you just to give an another perspective if sachin tendulkar is probably a studied and everything he would have become a much more successful captain there is always a value addition and education brings into anyone's life let us not forget the value of a great education system i will also tell you i am a great admirer of finland based education system In Finland, after every class, a white sheet is given to every student, and students need to write doubts. If a student does not write doubts, a teacher's variable salary is cut. Education, according to me, is questioning the existing theories. All the examples, whatever you said right now, they questioned the existing system and process, and they created it. And they are that lucky chap. See, Pranay, there are two kinds of seeds. One seed you put it into a forest. It run, does not require any watering, any looking after, but that seed turns it to be a tree and everything. Whatever the examples you say, that belongs to that kind of seed. But there are also some more seeds which we need to plant in our home. It requires watering. It requires caretaking. It requires every day looking into whether it is growing or not. So we are referring to the another side of seeds. So there will always be one percentage of the people who will go on to create the greatest miracles in life. I would never assume that I belong to that one percentage. I would advise all the viewers: arrogance sometimes can be bad. Sometimes it can do good things also. Sir, uh, I'm sorry, but I hate to uh, I hate to disagree with you to a certain extent. I feel education system restricts, or it's not just me; it's a society that feels. That education system restricts to a certain extent because uh, they feel that you know it, it limits your uh, imagination or something. What is your view on that? I mean, no, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you from uh, what angle you are saying that you disagree with me. Now let me start from the primitive stages. Now let me tell you two or three examples. Then I'll tell you. You take a fish from a fish pond which is in a circular shape. so the fish is happily enjoying in the fish pond and everything after some days take the fish from the fish pond which is in a circular shape put it in an aquarium which is in a rectangular shape after few days because the fish was so habituated to no move around in a circular motion it does not realizes that it is there in a rectangular shape it still moves in a circular motion i'll correlate this with another example there is this baby elephant and the owner does not want the baby elephant to move so it the owner ties it with ropes and everything as the baby elephant grows that owner removes the ropes but still that baby elephant is still in that myth that someone has tied my legs with the ropes and everything even though it can walk it will not walk because it has been groomed into such a environment meant that we all our parents teachers first of all human potential is a limitless potential nobody has and nobody ever will ever be able to define a limit to a potential there is a circle that we draw to every student's potential saying that this is what you can do it the research suggests that till the age of 14 Whether the parents or the teachers and everything, one lakh forty-eight thousand, we use the word "you cannot." I'm just giving a different direction. If one lakh forty-eight thousand 
people say that you cannot let us take that 148000 stories where people went on to do even though people were saying that you cannot have you ever seen this ant movie if you keep a hand there ant teaches me something amazing if you keep a hand here ant immediately changes a direction and creates its own path let us all learn something from our ants see our parents limit our capabilities a five year old kid wants to open a door appa says you cannot do it instead of appa saying you cannot do it if appa goes out and says that this is how you should do it the kid will start being we don't give responsibilities to the kids we don't empower the kids uh, we i'll just tell an another analogy so that you will understand what happens because the first 16 years you are upbringing will make you form opinions my upbringing will make me form my own opinions we all know that we all how did we learn to learn, tell like appa says sitting in home watching a tv if a phone call comes appa says to the kid go and lift the phone and tell that i am not there that's how child picks up to tell lies and see i personally believe that Parenting also requires a lot of correction. And when I quit my job in Infosys, it was a great concern in my family that I am taking up a profession that is a teaching profession. But I look, if I look back, that's the greatest turning point in my life. Because till now, I have never given the pen through which I am writing my story to anyone else. So I think we should never limit a kid by not giving responsibilities, by not giving capabilities, by not giving resources, by making him. You know, when you are very, very small, you used to enjoy a lot in home, you used to shout, scream, and in home, you can make a lot of noise. But the same kid goes to a pre-KG, your teacher asks you to put finger onto the lips and asks you to remain silent in the class. And your subconscious mind is confused. In home, your Amma asks you, Appa asks you to play, but here you are making a lot of noise. That's where a lot of you know teaching you are you are made because of your environment. So I think your environment, and to all the viewers who are going to watch this video, I think I believe that there are certain things which worked for me, and the world calls me as a successful person. So I think if there are any opinions which you think please go out and execute it. If it works, carry forward it. If it does not work, then I think carry with your own views. Because my responsibility of, as a teacher is to show you the directions which helped me produce results.